Have you ever noticed someone in your life who only seems to pop up when they need something? Maybe it starts small, like a little favor or a quick vent session. At first, you don't mind. It feels good to help, right? But over time, you start to see a pattern. They are there when they need support, when they need advice or a ride, maybe money. But <laughs> when you're the one who needs a friend, suddenly they are too busy or they disappear altogether. You start wondering, are they really there for me or just for what I can do for them? Realizing that someone might be using you is tough, especially when it's someone you care about. It's natural to want to give people the benefit of the doubt, to think maybe they're just going through a tough time or they don't mean it that way. But when you're always giving and rarely getting anything back, it's time to pay attention. In this video, we're breaking down some of the clear signs that someone might be using you, why people do it, and most importantly, how to set up boundaries to protect your own energy. If you've ever felt like you're putting in way more than you're getting out of a relationship, this one's for you. So listen up. They only reach out when they need something. A clear sign that someone might be using you is they only reach out when they need something from you. Whether it's money, a favor, emotional support, or anything else, these people show up when they want something but disappear when you're the one in need. They may not actively consider your well-being but rather see what you can do for them. Think about that friend who never checks in to see how you're doing but always seems to call when they need a ride or help with a project. This pattern reveals that their priority isn't the friendship itself, it's what you can give them. They don't make an effort to reciprocate. Healthy relationships are a two-way street where both people give and receive. But when someone is using you, they rarely, if ever, reciprocate. They may gladly take your help, your advice or resources, but when it's time to offer something back, they're suddenly too busy or unavailable. This one-sided dynamic is draining and ultimately unsustainable. Think of someone who expects you to listen to their problems or offer advice but never returns the favor when you're going through a tough time. If they're constantly taking without giving, it's a sign they're not truly invested in the relationship. They don't show genuine interest in you. Another way to recognize if someone is using you is to pay attention to their interest or lack of it. A real friend or partner will care about your thoughts, your feelings, and experiences. Someone who's using you, however, will typically steer conversations back to themselves and show little curiosity about what's going on in your life. Notice if every conversation revolves around their issues, and when you try to share something about yourself, they either change the subject or seem uninterested. This is a clear indicator that they're not valuing you for who you are, but rather for what you can provide. They disregard your boundaries. One of the most telling signs that someone is using you is if they constantly disregard your boundaries. They might pressure you to help them even when you're busy or make you feel guilty when you try to say no. This lack of respect for your time, for your energy and for your personal space shows they're more interested in what you can offer than maintaining a balanced, respectful relationship. If someone insists that you do something for them, even after you've said you're unavailable or uncomfortable, they're not respecting your boundaries. It's a red flag that they don't see your needs as equally important their own. They make you feel drained instead of supported. When someone is using you, you'll often feel drained after spending time with them. Real relationships, whether they're friendships, family, or romantic connections, should feel balanced and supportive. But if you feel exhausted, taken for granted, or even resentful after interacting with someone, it may be because they're taking more than they're giving. After spending time with this person, you might feel emotionally depleted, frustrated, or as if your kindness has been taken advantage of. Pay attention to these feelings. They're often your intuition telling you something isn't right. Recognizing when someone is using you can be tough, especially when it's someone close to your heart. 
It's natural to want to see the best in people, to overlook certain things because you care about them, but at the end of the day, you have to look out for yourself too. Remember, you deserve relationships that give back, connections that feel balanced and make you feel valued. If someone is only in your life for what they can get from you, it's okay to take a step back and reevaluate. Setting boundaries doesn't make you a bad person. It's an act of self-care. When you respect your own needs and limits, you make room for the right people, those who appreciate you for who you are, not just what you can provide. Real relationships should leave you feeling supported, not drained. They should be a source of strength and joy, not something that constantly takes from you. If this message resonated, let me know in the comments. Anyway, have you ever realized someone was using you and what did you do about it?